Hello everyone, I'd really like to showcase the Power BI integration of our DICE uh, indigenous system. I think we are the, one of the few uh, softwares that have such an advanced analytics tools built into the cache data analysis and that's helped us to reach uh, analysis things that you cannot even imagine possible till now. For example, you can see on the left tab, you have some, we have so many tables. Uh, like prostate diagnosis, oral surgical diagnosis, ortho diagnosis, and then you have various treatments, etc. etc. So, in this case, I'm going to show you how we can manipulate data because the idea is that you know, based on this, you can come up with various ideas as to how you want your data. You can ask the IT, and the IT department will help you with the same. So, here, like you can see that I'm selecting teeth number 11218, um, and then once they are selected, I go to the values panel and uh, I'm adding one more tooth of one one and the tooth one one I'm just keeping it as category and the remaining teeth I'm using it as counts. So you can see that each parameter the software can either take the count, it can take the percentage, it can take the category and so on. So if you want a table with percentage or values, you ask it that way, they'll be able to give it to you that way. And if you want to correlate smoking with uh, alcohol or smoking with lip uh, biting and so on and so forth, you can ask for the same way. Just give them a blank Excel sheet and they can do that. Here you can see that there is this uh, table is formed. You can see that in teeth 1 1, uh, abfraction, attrition, abrasion, acute pulpitis, various dental status has been recorded by our students over the past uh, 6 to 8 months. And you can see that in 1-1, one, one, around 7,975 teeth have been uh, diagnosed. And uh, the incidence is a little less for 1-2 with 5,600. And canine is also having fairly lesser incidence of pathology at 4,600. And you can see that the first premolar has much higher pathology rates at 8,800. So in this data set, we have around 86,000 unique patient IDs included. Uh, this is around 8 months of data, I would assume. And you can see that uh, the first molar is a most commonly uh, uh, diseased tooth with uh, 15,571. Uh, so the thing is that these are counts. We can also look for percentage and the percentage will give us what percentage of molar teeth get uh, uh, infected or get into pathology and so on. Then you can export the data and then it's a simple export. You get it in Excel file and then the IT department will be able to give it to you. So the next example I'm going to give you is that it can also compute very complex charts. So in this case, you can see that the various uh, conditions are all uh, mapped in uh, various bars of different colors, like abrasion 77, attrition 72. This is for only the molars alone, which have been reported to have abrasion at this thing. And if you look at the overall count, if you select all the conditions as it's been selected in uh, uh, the right hand column you can see that it's close to a thousand plus molars with the uh, various diseases uh, whereas if you're only going to look at asthma people you see that uh, uh, missing tooth becomes the most common uh, uh, finding so this way the ideas for research are innumerable you can just see which is a most common incidence for a particular molar as a separate paper and the particular molar with asthma patients is a separate paper and then coronary artery disease, diabetes. There's no limit to what kind of data you want and how you want to analyze it. But make sure that you make a detailed analysis and use it properly. Uh, the next example I'm going to give is a very simple one where you're selecting tooth number 16 alone and we want to see only the uh, abrasion of it. So around 1048, 16 uh, Molars have been, uh, the upper first molars have been reported with abrasion in the last six to eight months. And uh, again, in this case, uh, I'll be adding the one six one more time. I want to see the age of the patient to see whether there's a correlation between the age of the patient and the abrasion. And so I've added the age and now I have the count. So one more problem is that the count is going to be like, since more patients of middle age may be coming, we'll make get more count there. That doesn't mean there is more incidence of abrasion in that age. So that's why I've also added the percentage of the count as well. So now that you know that, you know, how much is the number and how much percentage of the total number of people of that age group have abrasion in their upper first molar. So this kind of extensive data collection is possible. Again, we export putting to Excel and we can use it for analysis.